Okay, so how long has it been since I last uploaded of it? Seven months! That doesn't count, that's a BFT. Uh, well, it's been a year. <laughs> uh, so yeah, hey guys, it's me Wadlugger, put my intro there. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I just was chilling outside, and my brain was just like, Hey, you know, what if you uploaded videos again on your Waddler account? And yeah, that's why we're here, so... I was, I'm recreating the drivable orb tutorial because like yesterday I went a VC with some guys and one of the guys says oh I, I know you was love I remember like you know I was trying to do the drivable orb thing but like it didn't make any sense to me so that means you know <laughs> he didn't understand the drivable orb so I basically cried myself to sleep of a drivable orb from two years ago so yeah, I've revitalized it, added some new stuff. So here's the, here's the build. Okay, so here's the drivable ball thing. It's like a remake of drivable orb from like 2020. Considering that video's kind of bad and like, it's not a very good tutorial, plus my voice was really quiet. So I thought I'd just, uh, you know, revisit the build, like revitalize it and make it easier to build and explain it better. Also like, gotta admit this one does look better than the old one. And I will be showing you how to build it this way. So like, go forward, go backwards, and this one has an improvement, like, if I go over to the water, this one has a, a lot of a better time on water than the old drivable ball. Like, still not a particularly strong suit, but it can go on water a lot better than last time. And what are you saying? What a bad op- I, I'm going to- Okay, so I guess it's time for me to show you how to build it. So what you want to do, is you want to get wood or any other scaffolding block. It doesn't matter what, because we're going to delete it. And then just scale it up by wood until you reach 20, so it needs to be 20 tall. Then make the width up here. This will decide the width of the ball that we'll be making. And make it about, uh, not 20, I mean 10. Yeah, like that. Then put glass or whatever block you are going to be using on the side like this. And then you can delete the scaffolding. Now that we've got these, we will, you know, scale them out by 0.5 to make them thin so the inside it will be nice and packed. We don't want it to be claustrophobic in there. And then now I'll show you how to make a circle with a new tool. So if you don't already know how to do this, it's useful to know, I guess. So yeah. So what you'll do is you clone it upwards like that. You rotate it and then you move it back down so we'll, we're using rotate 15 by the way for this and now that we've got these we select both of these together lift it up then turn left I guess I I moved it right and I said turn left okay smartest guy to be honest but yep okay now that we've got this we do the same thing with this segment lift it up rotate it oops I went farther and then move it down but don't select this don't deselect I mean we don't want to do the whole thing we just want to do these four segments again because if you if you see when I do it like this so oh, I went up then turn you see if I put this down it would perfectly complete the circle however if we had the extra it'd overshoot by quite a bit so that would make it unevenly weighted, which would not be useful for the build we're building. So yeah, so we've got it like that. Also for an aesthetical reason, what I want to do is I want to replace all the blocks on the edges. So let me find it. So all of these that I'm painting in dark red. Like all of these. I want to turn them into metal because I think that would look nice. So, to do that, I'll use anchor and match rotation like this. To place these here. Okay, now that I've placed these here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the old ones that were here. Then using point five, I'm going to scale these into their spot to take the spot. Right now it looks a little janky, but it'll be a, a lot cleaner once we turn it into a ball. Same thing over here. Out, flattened, out, flattened. 
out and flattered and out. Y yep. So, repeat that the whole way through. I'm gonna give the ball a little pin. So, it's, it's easier to pin at this stage. What so I'm gonna do this like dark blue. This could be dark blue. And then these could be like white. With light blue tips. Like that. Also I'm thinking whether should I do dark blue or this light blue. I, th I like this. I like the look of the light blue. So yeah I'm going to go with this light blue colour scheme. But now that we've got this. We need to make the inside mechanics. So I'm going to add this little ring for aesthetics. But I'm going to place this here. Scale it away from the wall by 0.5. And then equal it out to make it like this size. So scale it away and then scale it in. And then I'm going to flatten it down like this. So they're both flattened. And then scale up from bottom to. And then select these, and then we basically do the same thing to make a circle. So I lifted it, and then I turned it. But look, it kind of has this like ugly overlap section. The quick fix for that is, and it is to use point two, scale it in like that, and then at the other side we also want to scale it in, and do that here, do that here as well, and here. So this side and this side. This side and this side. This is because when you're duping this, that would mean that when these would go here, they would also get the ugly overlap and it wouldn't also be centered, which means the circle would be off centered if you didn't do that. So, yeah, let's continue duping it. So, select this up, down, and turn. Then you select this. And see, we've got the four segment, so we just need another dupe after this of the four se the far segment. So up, down, and turn. And then the ones that are centered, like this on the no like rotation blocks, we make them taller by 0.5, so they're like two by one by one, two by one point six or whatever. So like this. Okay, now we need a spot for you to actually sit. So on this front one, this front piece, place down a block and then scale it across to meet with the other end of the ball. So it should be 13 long. And then scale it out to the side by two of these 1.5s. So it should be three wide and then we scale it all the way in. And then now we can use this to center the chair. So we place, we just place the chair like here, like that. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the chair lower so it's more centered. And then we can delete this. And now I'm gonna make some things to bridge the chair into the circle. So I'm gonna make some downwards angled 15 degrees metals facing towards the chair and I'm gonna flatten them like this and go one extra flatten one extra and flatten and then scale them in at each side to make it nice and you know thin and then scale it down until it touches the chair so I'm gonna go around to the front so it touches the chair touches the chair now what we want to do is we want to get the chair actually and move it up by 0.5 like that because then we can place a little plate on the bottom of the chair which should connect these metal rods up nicely if we just get it to about this size but you like this and make sure it's centered okay now that we've got that i'm going to place a piston on the bottom Extend this piston and, and make sure it's not binded to the chair. Now on top of the not on top underneath the piston, place a block and set scale to one and scale it up so it's six tall and then go out by two on each side. So like one two, one two, one two, and one two to make this little 
brick. Which balances it. This makes the ball nice and balanced. Now place two boat motors of the red, red or red or winter. They both work on the side like that. And now what we need to do is we need to make the stabilizers. But it's not like the stabilizers where they balance the entire thing. They're just like bricks basically. So what we do is on the front of the back place block. And scale it away from the front of the back by 0 0.2. Like this. Maybe one extra, yeah. So it's like 0 0.4, so these should be 1.6. Then scale it all the way in on each side like that to make it thin. And now using one scale, scale it down three times. So this is five log. So one, two, three. And then back with a 0 0.2, make it thin again. And then we can change back to wood to widen them. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oops. One, two, three, four. To make it wider. So they're like ten wide. They're the same. They're the same width as the scaffolding we used to make the ball. So one, two, three, four. So it's like far out on each side. One, two, three, four. And now that we've got these little stabilizer rods we can use plastic to connect them up but we can't just do it straightly because there's gonna be a ball here so what i'm gonna do is on the back of these i'm gonna scale place plastics on the back then scale down to about 10 like this and then on this block i'm gonna place a block roughly centered plastic make sure this is plastic by the way and use it to connect them up like that so now just give it a quick paint down here so you know what's gonna how the collisions are gonna work. So how it's gonna work is all this red stuff here and the piston. Oh, wait, oh, oops, deselected everything. Yeah, so all this red stuff and the piston, non-collision. It's gonna transparent them for now. And these blue things can stay for collision. Also, one more thing. Add in a hinge. Like that. And I'm just going to paint it pink so I don't forget about it. And also make it non-collision and 50 percented for now. So I'm just going to give this a little paint job here. So I'll give this paint. And this chair can be blue. Like that. So yeah, now that we've got this painted and stuff, we need to remove the mechanic and the center thing. That's quite easy actually, so select the whole thing, and you just have to manually click around the little glass area. You now just click on the glass pieces, so that you do select them. So like hold shift and click them, if you're on computer. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to use the move tool, set it to 50. So I, I can remember the number 50, so if you want to copy, I'll tell the number later. i just move it off to the like left or right somewhere. Accidentally took a chunk of this. Accidentally took something. Oh yeah, what did I take? Yeah, I, I accidentally took a chunk of the outer bit, so let me just deselect that. And then move it over there, so we've got... Uh, we've got a transparent ring thing and a mechanic over there. So now I'll show you how to make the sphere now. So we need to select this. That uh, rotates back to thing. It's very similar to the circle, but if you notice, we've got it really oddly angled. So to fix this, you need to shift click this to deselect it. This back piece that isn't rotated. Then click it again to reselect it. So you see now it's got like the 90 degree like square thing, which means we can clone it. So clone it, move it back down, and then rotate it up. But if you notice, it's actually gone wonky again. So we're just gonna click the back part because sometimes it can just go wonky again. So watch out. So click that. I'm gonna. Click one of these. Actually, I'm going to move it up first because I haven't selected it. But click this and then move it down. So if it ever gets like that, you can do that. So 
now that I've got that, I will rotate 15, and that should work good for the first rotate. Now we do it similar to the last one where we select this again, click the back piece to get it to be angled right, lift it up, move it back down, and then we rotate it so like one. Actually, I'm rotating it diagonally again. Not just noticed that that's becoming an issue. So I click this and then I move it back down. And then we can rotate. Round two. What? One, two. And okay, now we've got the far segment. Okay, so select the back. Dupe it up. Dupe it back down. Actually, before duping it back down, this is when you click the back piece. Also, don't click this back piece. Click the one that it's already selected. Move it down, and then you can rotate. Like, oops, wrong rotate. Oh. Yeah, but like, one, two, three, four. And now this is a strange scenario, you see, because we need to dupe it again, but it'd be weird because, like, these are awkward to select. You know, so we can actually do the same thing again. So we need to get out the clone, select this. We move it up like that. And then we can click this again, move it back down. And then use the rotate tool and finish the circle. One, two, three, four. We've got a finished ball. If you did this, this was the hardest part of it. So congratulations. Hope it was easier to understand than last time. So yeah. Now let's put the mechanics in it, but... It'd be useful to invisible the mechanics first. So I'll select all of these, including piston. I'll deselect that. Select this, this, and this. And then let's fully invisible these. And then select the wide area around it so that you make sure to get the whole thing. And then let's move it by 50 into the ball. Like that. So it's in there. We just need to save and load it to make it attach properly now. So save and load. And let's give it a little test of it. So it's on the ground. To get in, just use the screwdriver to select most of this area. Non-collision and just re-collision. So let's see how it drives. So it drives pretty well. It can, do, it can turn. It can actually turn on the spot as well. Okay, let's go take it onto the water, see about water travel. So it goes pretty nicely, it's on water. It's a little wobbly on water, but it's not, a, it's not an issue. I can turn it round. Let's turn it back round to our team. Oop, go crash. Okay, so it's going, it goes on water fine. Water's the hardest terrain for it to do, but it can do it. And it's just go this way. Take it for a little ride around. Go check out Red Team. Okay, see what they're up to. Yep. There's a guy there. Oh, oh, back up. Uh, hey, oh, calm down. Calm down. I'm off. Bye. <laughs> calm down. R circle. Red circle. Okay, but yep. So you see, it, c it can traverse st those terrains. Alright, and it can break. Not good. That's what those little things here are, they do the bricks. So yeah. Well anyways, thanks for watching my video and see you later.